Hi everyone, this is Dr. Omar. In this video clip, I will show you how to do post hoc test following doing Kerskal Wallace test in SPSS. In this uh, uh, data view, I have three group. Group number one, which is a control, two is the uh, one week, and three is two weeks. So these through group, three groups, a drug, new novel drug has been designed, and its effect has been uh, followed up using uh, specific parameter in the blood. So we want to compare the efficacy of the drug um, after using it for one week and two weeks compared to a control. Again, I've double checked the uh, distribution of the each group, control week one and week two, and they are not normally distributed. So how can we do a Ker 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 wallace test to determine the significance, whether there is a significance between these groups? Click and analyze, scroll down to non-parametric test, and then to legacy dialogue, and then we click in the, the, on the icon for K independent samples. Reset this. Okay, so I'm going to transfer the drug into test, test variable list and the participant into group variable. And in the participants, I want the range to be from group number one in which I gave the control value one and uh, um, to the week two which is value three and week one is value two. Click on continue, click on the uh, icon for Kerskal Wallace and then check on, click on exact. We'll leave uh, a new window will appear. We'll leave the asymptotic, uh, asymptomatic only test as it is. Click continue. On the options, we will just click on the descriptive and then we click continue. Hit the button for okay. SPSS will produce these tables. The, as it says here, 21 participant uh, involved in this study, and um, out of these uh, 21, seven were control, seven week. Uh, drug has been given for one week and two week, or two weeks. And what has uh, this um, Kerskel Wallace test done is put uh, took the actual data for each one of these and sort them into ranks and then calculate the mean rank and we can see from the mean rank that control compared to week one week is really there is a, a, a huge difference from 4.2 to 13 and from control to two weeks is 14 also from 4 to 14 however there is no big difference between the mean rank of week one and week two the test produced a significant value, p-value, and the p-value is, is, is lower than 0.05, which really indicates that there is a difference between a uh, patient who, or, in, or, or uh, individual participant who has taken the drug for a week co compared uh, to control, or two weeks compared to control. And But it doesn't tell you if... Uh, the, the difference uh, where there is a different significant difference between the control and uh, uh, the week or the control uh, week one or week two or week one or week two uh, it's just give you a p-value for all three groups and now to uh, nail down this into which groups which two groups really are significant which are not uh, as i see i showed you in the previous um, video clip can go and do man whitney u test on uh, con two samples control on week one control on weeks two two weeks and weeks one and week two however there is another way to do it which is called post hoc test to do a post hoc test i'll go a click on analyze scroll down to non-parametric test click on the independent samples Click reset here. Objective. So in this icon, in this uh, sorry window, uh, uh, I will appear and ask you what is your objective. Say I want to customize the analysis. I want to put to, to, to tell the uh, software what to do. Click on there in the field. I'll transfer the drug into the test field and the participant into the groups. 
and then in the last uh, uh, icon here is the settings so what I want also to the setting I will click on customize test and I will click in Kerskill Willis one way and it automatically says do multiple comparison pairs all pair wise so it will do a pair wise between control and week one control week two week one and week two weeks two together or two weeks together so I'll hit the run and then uh, a table small table saying here that the hypothesis test testing that there is a difference between the uh, three groups and the difference is 0.002 and uh, to uh, find out which groups which two groups really have a significant value and which are not double click on the uh, table and then another window will appear showing you the box plot for control one week and two weeks as you can see there is not that much difference from this diagram between one week one one week and two weeks but there is uh, really a difference between controls and uh, week one and weeks week to do two weeks uh, to do to to do and, uh, and then we click in another one called bears wise comparison that's a table will appear here that's the table that will really do the comparison of control one and week uh, one week and it's give a significant value of 0 0.012 when uh, a test has been done to between control and uh, week two weeks it's give uh, less than 0 0.05 significant However, when we compare week one with week two, there was no significant, the value was one. So this table is tell you, um, Chris Kilwallis tell you that there is a significant difference between all the three groups. This table, post hoc test, will tell you that control and week one is significant, control and we two weeks significant. However, there is no significance between week uh, one week and two weeks. So from this data, we conclude that a patient giving this drug or individual giving this drug, taking it for one week is more than enough to have an effect uh, as two weeks and one week effect is uh, nearly similar. Uh, this is the way to show you Kerskill-Wallace test followed by post hoc. 